Okay, assalamu alaikum and welcome to our suit reviews. Uh, today we're going to be sharing some sewn suits and some unstitched suits to make comparisons of what you're getting and how well a result you can achieve. So this one is uh, design number 1009 and uh, it's on cotton. It's by a company called Rangres very pretty suits the first one i had stitched was for my daughter-in-law in this and uh, anyway we've had another one stitched for a customer uh, the suit itself comes with a print dupatta a very very beautiful print in a pink uh, then you've got white silver and a print pink kameez with some nice embroidery patches Okay, so I'm going to just um, separate these and uh, then we're going to talk about the suits. Now, I've got three, I've had three Rangres suits uh, sketched. Okay, and they're for a customer who is in uh, Saudi Arabia. Okay, and uh, she's actually originally from the UK, so she will be coming over for holidays and she will be collecting her suits i've had all these she's requested for me to sew them now unfortunately i'm very limited on time and i actually outsource the work to india and i've had them stitched from india so the kameez on this is this is the back of the kameez you've got embroidery patch and then the front of the kameez is a border with there you are that's the border and then you've got just like basic uh, stripes this is the unsewn version so i'm going to show you what the sewn version has come out like in a minute after i've shown you what comes along with this suit this is the neckline so the neckline is heavy embroidery that's done on a ganza it's almost like a crochet type of embroidery and you've got two pieces you've got one for the daman and one for the neckline uh, then it comes down to how well these pieces are going to get attached onto this fabric to get the result. Now we've had this sewn and I'm just going to quickly share the sewn version with you. Now I haven't had time to uh, press or anything. It's a loose fitting trouser which is what the request has been. The trouser has been finished off with an invisible zip and also uh, some clamp type of um, finishing. Okay the skimmies these are not very long gummies they're three quarter length gummies and again the application of uh, the lace on the diamond is very well done um, it's been embroidered over all the way and it looks like it's uh, the embroidery is on the fabric um, I, I did request to have satin put underneath the um, diamond so that it stops the gummies from sticking and also piping on the sides of the gummies. The neckline has been edged off with dory around the inside in white and then the application of the neckline, the organza has been taken away, burnt off and all the sides of um, the motifs have been embroidered and it looks like it's part of uh, the suit itself so again very nicely stitched uh, also one of the things with these suits is I mean the only flaw for the moment I can look at is the sleeves are slightly over overly wide uh, perhaps the customer will like that because it's warm where she is and uh, slightly loose fitting sleeves actually are more comfortable than very fitted but it's an easy enough alteration that can be done so if you're if you've had something stitched and and uh, providing the armhole fitting is okay if the sleeve is wide there this is a seam that can be very very easily it's like a very easy to take in seam it doesn't require much cutting or anything all you need to do is just take a general seam all these suits are overlocked and finished off very very nicely so this one is one of the rungres uh, suits now the next one is also a rungres again it's um, a fairly wide fitting uh, type of trouser um, I don't know I'm a little bit um, 
maybe sometimes make sure to give your measurements absolutely precise this trouser looks short to me and i hope the fitting is right but then tailors are restricted by your uh, measurements and your specifications if you've gone and given uh, you know a size which is not your uh, size and the tailors have gone uh, and sewn it then the fault is not with the tailors but the fault is with the customer for not giving the you know right measurements so um, i'm not sure about exactly what she'd given as measurement but um, the trouser to me looks fairly short and I hope it's not short on her because I would feel I know she spent a lot of money and I would feel uh, really bad if the suits were not sewn to her size but then you know it, again it's all down to the specifications that you give now with this suit this is the beautiful beautiful dupatta I'm afraid I haven't got an unstitched version of this that I can share with you. So I'm just going to show you uh, how the sewn version has come out. It's a beautiful color combination. Cream and like a minty green. And then the chemise. I love the chemise on this. It's uh, This is a full print at the back of the chemise. Um, again, it's been finished off in a cream color silk trimmed off in the cream color and then uh, the application of the embroidery which is really really pretty um, the daman has got like a rusty maroony kind of embroidery and then you had two additional pieces of embroidery pattern and they've trimmed beautifully around the edges and have applied this on just wonderfully you know really you'd have to see it with the naked eye it looks like it's embroidery that's done but it's all um, actually application of the lace again the sleeve looks uh, slightly wide but that's something that can easily easily be remedied and that's not a major problem but apart from that very nicely stitched and um, i love the suit itself she's had not overly long camisa done and actually that's a fashion so hopefully these will be right for her so that's another of the rungres now the third one i'm going to share with you again in the rungres again uh, the trouser has been stitched with um it's a standard trouser nothing too fancy or anything this is the dupatta in a purple the dupatta is finished and then I'm going to just sh quickly share the gummies with you it's a peach and purple combination uh, on the back it had a pattern on the shoulder and then it, the pattern runs down and onto the uh, bottom of the gummies uh, they've trimmed this off in purple silk like an aubergine purple silk. At the front, they've hem, uh, they've trim, finished the gummies off with the lace. Again, they've applied this lace on beautifully, and then with the embroidered peach neckline. Uh, it's actually so delicate and so nicely applied on. It just makes the garment the perfect garment. Print sleeves. Uh, I think if I was to pinpoint any fault, I would notice that the sleeves are overly wide. But again, like I mentioned, it's easily, easily remedied. So these are just some of the Rangre's uh, suits that have come sewn. If you fancy any of these suits, then I think I've got a few of the old version of Rangre's left. And uh, I, we've, we actually cleared most of these off as two for 35 pounds. If you missed out, there's a few designs left. I'll quickly share what designs I've got left and then you can make up your mind. I've got one remainder of this pink. Then we've got, um, we have a, a green that I've shown previously, the sewn uh, version, a peach and gray. One more of this sky blue and the beautiful pink that I have actually yet to sew for myself. 
so these are the remainder five suits of rangres of the old designs that we've got left we've got a few in india so if you fancy them sewn then do get in contact with me and i will notify my colleague there to actually stitch them in your size and now that you've seen how well the stitching has been done you've got to bear that in mind that if i'm st getting it stitched over here in the uk or in one of the western countries will the tailors do justice and make what you've just seen um alhamdulillah i know what i'll be doing i'll be getting mine stitched from there because I simply haven't got the time. If I haven't got the time to do it for myself, then let me tell you that I haven't really got time for doing it for customers. So please, if you're going to message me that I'm going to sew your clothes, then I'm sorry to say that I've got other obligations and I'm restricted. So I won't be doing the sewing. I will still be doing a lot of the advising and I will be doing the guidance. But uh, sewing, I am going to have to pass out on that one and give it to the the people who are even better than me sometimes i have to guide them if there is a little bit of a mistake here or there but alhamdulillah overall these are good machinists who will do a good job for you better than actually i can do the job so these are the wrong res versions i'm going to be sharing uh, a couple of suits by kashmir that they've also sewn and one of uh, asim jofa so come back again soon and join me in going through those tutorials. Tutorial, not tutorials, just other reviews. Sorry. <laughs>